In Providence, Rhode Island, the newly released body camera footage shows police officers repeatedly punching teenage boys. One teen being arrested has his face bloody. Officer Domingo Diaz, who has been suspended, spits at the boy. Another clip shows Diaz repeatedly punching a teen before a sergeant pulls Diaz away. The brutality erupted in July after the teenagers in a BMW convertible led police on an hours-long chase. The teenagers had allegedly been driving erratically and pointed a BB gun rifle at civilians and cops. Eventually, the teenagers crashed into a fire hydrant. The boys then appeared to put their hands in the air to surrender. Police pulled the boys out of the car, but at least two officers started throwing punches. In this clip, an officer interviewed the driver, who said he was 15. You okay? Yeah. I got brain surgery. You got brain surgery? Yeah. No, no, nobody, no, nobody knew that, okay? It was just why bugging. You, why, why are you driving like that, bro? I don't have no license. Bro, do like, you see the severity of this? Like, you, you guys are going crazy, man. That, like, the whole state was after you guys. Soon after this incident, police placed Officer Diaz and Mitchell Voyer on paid suspension. You don't, why not? You're driving a motor vehicle. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I got it. Okay. I got it too. You're parked illegally right now. Honey, you want to pull up the car, please? Will you pull up the car, please? Okay, I can write you a citation, ma'am. I can write that. Huh? I'll take that, no fighter. Okay, I need your ID to write that. Okay. All right. Could you wait for Huh? My boyfriend right over. Okay. And what's that citation for? Parking illegally. Did you see how it was just moved? Huh? Did you see how it was just moved and had the little lights on, flashers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you were right there in the it middle of the It wasn't even parked. There was someone sitting right in right the car. I have it right here on my camera, man. I have it on mine, too. Okay. That's good for you. An Orangeville mother claims she was brutally beaten in front of her own father and young children by Solano County Sheriff's deputies last year. Now a civil rights lawsuit has been filed against the law enforcement agency and some of its deputies. And that police body camera video was released by the family's attorney. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera shows us more. In edited video from the family's attorney, the Solano County Sheriff's body cam video begins by showing an SUV pulling off the road near Dixon August of last year. From the driver's side exits 33-year-old Nakia Porter. The software engineer says she wanted to switch driving duties with her father, J.B. Powell. Along with her three- and four-year-old daughters and a six-year-old niece, the family was returning to Orangevale from a museum trip to Oakland. For you to be beaten down as you were less than a human being. You know what? Detain me. It so happened a sheriff's vehicle was parked nearby, and the two deputies approached Porter. After she motioned and communicated what she was doing, you see the deputies with at least one gun drawn handcuff her anyways and tell her the reason for detaining her. You have two different plates on your vehicle. She is then pulled away from her car, questions the deputies as to why, and then a struggle ensues. With the camera shaking, it's hard to see what's going on. But Porter's attorney makes it clear what he says happened. Kicking her, kneeing her, striking her in the back of the neck, the head, the face. Her attorney says Porter became unconscious for over five minutes and dragged to the patrol car by the deputy. 
The lawsuit claims deputies lied about Porter fighting and about the time she was unconscious to paramedics on scene. That she went out, yeah, I don't, no more than 20 seconds. We did not deserve this. We did nothing wrong. Porter was jailed for six hours on suspicion of resisting arrest, but never charged. A call for comment to the Solano County Sheriff's Office was not returned. Come here, buddy. An unarmed woman who was hiding in a bathroom closet was repeatedly bitten by Young's police dog in April. Steal it! Steal it! Body cam video shows Young's dog biting 40-year-old Tanya Qualls, who has a history of nonviolent drug arrests. Deputies were attempting to arrest her on a probation violation. Move, move, move. Young charged Qualls with resisting arrest. And days later, she pled guilty. But when District Attorney Bryant Dunaway looked at the body cam video of her arrest, he allowed Qualls to withdraw her guilty plea, saying it would be an injustice for that conviction to stand. Get down! Get down! Now, how's she going to get down with the dog biting her on the arm? Brooks does not represent Tanya Qualls in this case, but he has sued White County in a case Qualls was involved in. Brooks questions whether deputies knew that Qualls had sued White County just a few years before. Qualls agreed to get a surgical birth control implant in order to get a reduction in jail time. A federal judge ruled the program unconstitutional. She's one of the women who sued. Brooks represented the men in that sterilization lawsuit. I wonder if anything went in the back of their mind that this Tanya Qualls had previously sued the White County Sheriff's Department. We've warned you and warned you and warned you. There is no question her arrest raised red flags with District Attorney Bryant Dunaway. He told News Channel 5 Investigates he did a spot check of arrests made by Brandon Young. When he found three he considered questionable, he felt he could not put him on the witness stand, so he dismissed all 25 cases. Credibility plays a big part in it. Get down! Get down! After this violent arrest, Deputy Brandon Young has resigned. The district attorney asked the FBI to investigate, and more than two dozen cases have been dropped. Brooks says this case points to the need to amend or do away with something called qualified immunity for officers. It makes it harder to sue officers for wrongdoing. He hopes this case becomes part of the national conversation about police reform. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, Investor. Why does she owe you $20? I gave her a $20 bill. I gave her a $20 bill. For what? For anything. I don't care. Whatever it's for, but she can give me my money back if she ain't going to do nothing with it. Okay, were well, you planning to buy some drugs yes, or I something? Was. What kind of drugs were you wanting to buy? Rock. Rock. Yes, I was. She gave me some plaster. And now you want your $20 back yes, because she didn't supply you with crack cocaine. Well, she, if she shouldn't give me nothing. No, we were sitting out here on the porch in some chairs. So she said, y'all have anything to buy? I said, no, nah, baby, we don't have nothing to sell. So she left one around the corner. Mm -hmm. Then she come back 10 minutes later hollering, give me my money back up. No, you ain't bought nothing from here. Don't disrespect my child. This is my child. Mm -hmm. I don't sell crack. I'm a prostitute. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Officer Henry with the Wilson Police Department. The reason for the stop today is because I clocked you 37 and a 25. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Can I get your driver's license real quick, Mr. Bryant? You really want my driver's license? I just want to look at it. Huh? I said, I just I'm want... the sheriff. I'm I... not giving you my license. I'm the sheriff. Okay. Okay. I'm not giving you my driver's license. Okay. Okay. All righty. All right. I appreciate you. Sit tight for me real quick. I'm the sheriff of this county? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm the sheriff of this county. All right? Okay. You pulled me over. You've made your contact. You okay. gonna write me a ticket? I mean, I wasn't going to. I was just going to make sure you, you had your driver's ticket? license on there. I got my driver's license. I was just wanting to, I was just asking to look at it, and then I was going to send you on about your day. Okay. That's all I was doing. There's my driver's license. Okay. Okay. And there's my commission card. Okay. Okay. Okay, have a good day.
The video speaks for itself, but if you still don't believe that there are a set of rules for you and a separate set of rules for them, try refusing to produce your driver's license the next time you are pulled over for an alleged speeding infraction. Then, when the officer walks back to his patrol car, put a weapon on your hip and approach him. Show the officer your occupational certificates and tell him what you do for a living. I'm the sheriff. I'm not giving you my license. I'm the sheriff. You realize I'm the sheriff of this county? I'm the sheriff of this county. It seems to have worked for Sheriff Chris Bryant. Why wouldn't it work for you too? When Sheriff Bryant was asked for a statement, he claimed to be unavailable for an interview because he was working on cases, but he did send the following statement. I apologize for my actions on Friday in Wilson. It was poor judgment on my part to be driving in excess of the speed limit and to not promptly display my driver's license when asked to do so. For whatever little it's worth, I did return to the Wilson Police Department about an hour later and apologized to the officer who had initiated the traffic stop. I have also apologized to the city. I kept thinking I was going to die that night because all I can do was breathe. I was scared. Anytime that an officer utilizes an object to strike an individual in the head, they must have reason to use deadly force. Striking somebody in the head with a flashlight can cause serious, if not permanent, injury and or death to the individual. You know, but when I seen that tape, it was like reliving it all over again. You know, I don't know, I, I, uh, I couldn't help myself. I was watching it, I broke down all over again. You know, it's just, you know, I, I wouldn't want nobody to go through that.